I'm Libby Cathcart. I teach kindergarten. I've been at Latin for 27 years, and I love to get up every morning to come to school. The thing I love most about my job at Latin is that the kindergartners are little sponges. They could come to school one day, and I tell them we are going to learn today about dust bunnies, and they would say, yes, dust bunnies. It's a delightful job. If we get a child at the very first of their formal learning, at the kindergarten stage, they learn so quickly how Latin operates. They learn our culture, our culture of civility and manners, and it is so easy for them to just go year by year. Each year there's a little another layer of Latin civility laid on, and by third or fourth grade, they know all of the children in their grade, and it makes such a pleasant learning experience. I care very much about a child's academics, but even more than that, I care about how that child acts in his community. In our community at school, it's our classroom, but a child that's nice to his classmates, offers a pencil when one doesn't have one, is so much more important to me than how quickly he learns to read or how quickly she understands a math concept. So really, that learning how to do school is a very important part of learning at Latin. In lower school, we do a lot of differentiated learning. Children come to us at all different levels, and we try to meet them at those different levels, in math and in reading particularly, but in other areas as well. It's very important for us not to make a child feel like they don't, won't be able to catch up or won't be able to follow what we're doing, so we try to meet them where they are. We recognize, particularly in kindergarten, that children's attention spans don't go from 8 a.m. to 1.30 when we are cut, cutting them loose. So we have many things during the day, a brain break. We might spend 15 minutes on the rug or less and then do, do something at the tables. We also have little jump up activities that will refresh their brains, a water break, a bathroom break, a moment to just move their bodies, sometimes even some classroom yoga to just switch their brains to a different avenue. As a parent touring Latin, I would want you to look very carefully at our kindergarten, but also look very carefully at the rest of our lower and middle and upper school. You're not just choosing for one year, you're choosing an educational path. Look at the artwork that you see on the walls, look at the written work of our third and fifth graders, and think, is this the kind of work I'd like to see from my child in four or five years? Look at the whole school, because we're looking at the whole child.